while I tested a 3,300 milliamp hours lipo battery against a 4,000 milliamp hours lithium ion battery with the Bob 57 in one of my previous videos, I also took my Recon Y6 and tested the lithium ion battery against a 2,200 milliamp hours lipo battery that I'm used to flying on that drone. Before the test, I changed the air unit and upgraded the Y6 to the new DJI 04. Unfortunately, I still have some problems with the mounting of the 04 camera on the Y6. So the footage from the 04 is very shaky and not usable for cinematic videos. As soon as I fix this, a video about the upgrade and the solution will follow. After upgrading to the 04, I was interested in how long the Y6 would last for long range flights without a GoPro. I used to fly with the GoPro Mini 11, which added about 135 grams. With the GoPro, I never tried to fly with the lithium ion battery because it is another 130 grams heavier than the Lippo battery. This is exactly the weight I save by flying without the GoPro. Since the footage is shaky and you might know this mountain very well from my previous videos, I will speed up the flight a bit here. During the flight, I noticed the better connection of the O4 compared to the O3 used in the Bob. Even though I am using the old Integra goggles, the connection is more stable and the picture is much better than with the O3. Since I'm currently building an 8-inch long range drone, I decided to get an O4 air unit for it as well. A big advantage of flying without the GoPro is the lower power consumption during the climb with the LiPo setup. This puts less stress on the battery and keeps the voltage at a more stable level. Previously, when flying with the GoPro, I never squeezed all the energy out of the battery because the voltage drops below 3.6 volts after using about half the capacity, which always made me a little nervous. Returning to the starting point, we take the values up to here. Since there was a lot of capacity left in the lithium ion battery, I took the recon up to the waterfall behind me. I skipped this part for the flight with the lipo battery because there was not enough capacity left. I was much faster with the lithium ion battery to fly the same distance. So we will compare a median of similar distance and similar flight time to get a good comparison. After 10 minutes, I used 1,747 milliamp hours from the LiPo according to the OSD. After putting the recharged milliamperes in relation, we get 1851 milliamp hours used so far. After 10 minutes of flight with the lithium ion battery, we got 1949 milliamperes from the OSD and 1884 milliamp hours after calculation. For almost the same distance, we get 1604 calculated milliamperes. So we can use an average of 1,744 milliamp hours for the lithium ion battery flight. This is less than with the lighter LiPo battery. I think this is due to the fact that the flight was faster and more efficient with the lithium ion battery. My conclusion is that the energy consumption is almost the same with both batteries. Because of the larger capacity of the lithium ion battery, we can almost double the flight time or distance with this battery compared to the 2200 milliamp hours lipo. Further flights will show if my theory is correct. Now all I have to do is fix the wobbly image problem on the Y6 and I'll be ready for some real long trips with the Y6. So stay tuned.